problem. I come down here to set up a beacon and I look to be seven blocks short. So I need to go back up and hope that I smelted enough to put that together because I gathered all my resources to do this. So I'm going to go back up now. Putting in the last few blocks. And... All right, let's go with haste and haste. There we go. Oh, hey, I better go get some sleep. Done, I'm going to begin taking down between these pillars that I've made. You can see the other one over there, and there's a couple more over there and there. So I'm gonna take that down to bedrock and we will continue from there. Here we go. This isn't Instamine, this smooth stuff. Well, shoot, that is. Okay, well. I'll get this to some appreciable progress, and then I'll show you what I've got. Here we go. So far, I have dug down about yay far. I'm not sure exactly how deep that is, but you can see it's, yeah, it looks like about 10 blocks deep and about 22 by 22. So it's a little bigger than a chunk. In fact, it's three blocks on each side of the chunk so that I can... Uh, build it out and have room for the slimes to fall. In case you hadn't guessed, this is a slime farm. But at this point, with my pickaxe looking like it is, I'm gonna have to take a break and either spend a few hours at my skeleton grinder, or I'm gonna have to build something new. So I've decided to build something new in the nether. So something that uh, I haven't done before, but is now possible. And we're gonna build a nether ender which is a lot like an ender ender, but it's to end endermen in the nether. A nether ender ender? Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, I'll meet you up there with the supplies that we're going to need to build it. Forest. I have uh, built a little stuff up, and I have a little more to do here. So we'll take our wool and our carpet, some scaffolding, definitely some blocks and then head up this scaffolding and uh, I'll see you there I'm on the border of a soul sand valley over here but I think I can still extend in those directions not that I will with this might be a big enough platform so here I'm trying to get the uh, endermite so I can set it up and it's not cooperating. That doesn't sound good. Hopefully that's just a... Oh boy. Feather falling would sure be nice about now. So, anyway. Oh, here we go. Don't knock me off. No. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, he can't move now. Can you get in it if I do this, though? Can you get in? Am I just going to push him off the edge? It might. Huh. Okay, well, I guess I got to take out the carpet first. Whew. This is nerve wracking up this high. Okay. okay. 
So take that out. Put in carpet. Eat. Don't want to die. Gonna need some more stone, I think. Let's give him some space. Okay, now go that way. Hey, hey. Go that way. Just go. There. Oh, goodness. I guess that didn't hurt too much, but it's still scary. Ow. Don't do that. Probably going to need some trap doors in here to make that work. Oh well, that stone can despawn. Now then, let's see if this thing spawns who I want it to spawn. Because if it spawns a ghast, I'm in big trouble. It probably already would have, though, even with the torches. Okay, come on, work. Stand over here. There should be enough room for somebody to spawn in the opposite corner. Now, maybe if I go down a little bit, but I want to see this work. Huh. Well, I'll keep working on it and let you know. These are all experiments, and that's fun to try. Next second, here they come. Yeah. Looks like I need some trap doors. They can't get to him, but uh, they're not going anywhere either. Okay, so I'll go get some trap doors and uh, we'll make this thing work. Again, and we've got some very angry Endermen that I'm going to make even angrier now. I don't get knocked off by this little guy. Okay, here we go. Go ahead, you guys. Huh. That's not doing it. There goes a few. They just want to go straight to it. They don't want to turn. What do I need? What do I need? Maybe if I take that one out. I don't want them to get too close, though. Huh. I might have to work on this a little bit. Move that guy a little bit further out or something. I don't even know. Anyway, for now, let's make the bottom. Because right now they're just falling all the way to their doom. Oh, shoot. Thank you. Come again. Okay. So right now we're right there. We want to put this probably right here. Did they survive this? I don't know what that did. What was that? Some of them are jumping off the outside. Well, he's definitely one hit with the sword. So, anyway, um... I will build up a little platform and a tube, and then we'll see how it works. Range is happening here, where they appear to be hitting the ground and then teleporting out to who knows where. 
and they end up on the surface of the bedrock at the bottom. So I don't really get great raids here. But uh, they are a one-hit kill when they do stay. It's just those ones that randomly don't teleport. I don't even see the other ones. It's strange. So um, if I figure this out, then I will definitely post an update. But uh, as it is, it's looking like that's all I've got. So this is kind of a flop because they teleport right out. So anyway, it was fun to build. It was a good experiment, and I'm glad we tried it. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to get me the experience I'd hoped for. After all of that and some trading with villagers in order to repair my tools several times, I think we finally got the hole, Doug. So next time we'll make some more progress on it. And uh, remember to rock on.